really excited about this week. Obviously, um, happy about being 2-0 and as a team and excited about the, comp- the competition that we've had so far and seeing the guys play. Um, we're right where we wanted to be at this point. Obviously, there's some things that we can definitely improve on. Looking forward to improving from week two to week three. Thought we made some improvement from week one to week two. Um, doesn't get any easier. You know, we, we have a great team in Arkansas, a well-coached team. I'm really excited about the matchup. I think I, I can't, I mean, Sam Pittman's an amazing person and a great mentor and a great coach, and I like being around him. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to, you know, talking with him before and after the game. But uh, I think in terms of coaching, man, I just really admire what he's done and and uh, the, the way he, he leads. Um, he's a, obviously a background of, of an O-line guy, so the, I know that they'll be really physical. Um, we played against them last year, and they put up a lot of points on us, and uh, they, they got the victory. And so we're looking for the... Uh, you know, for the the rematch and going out to to Arkansas and, and going to enjoy this game and try to get ready for them and the tough team, tons of talent, uh, just like we saw last year. Um, and doesn't hurt that they have a veteran quarterback returning that's big and strong, uh, can run and can throw. Um, that combination with a running back that can run. Uh, they have a, a group of running backs that can run, a core of them, and then they have. Um, you know, the solid tight ends that can catch, can throw, uh, the, the can catch, the catch in the pass game, and they can uh, throw great blocks. And then you have big, big, um, big receivers. They have three receivers that uh, basically they all have about a hundred yards each uh, in, recep- in receiving yards. Um, on, that's just one phase. The offense is really good and a well-coached team. Obviously, you've got some some new coaches uh, there, but defense you can see the same thing. Athletic team. Uh, tons of talent, and um, really looking forward to the matchup. But obviously, we have to be at our best, and looking forward to our guys getting there. It's week three now, so we're right in the, at the swing of things with with with, uh, with the season. Uh, it took forever to get here, but now that the season's here, it seems like it's going pretty quickly. So we're trying to uh, relish all the moments and try to make some great uh, experiences and um, you know great memories. And so hopefully, we can get that done. Uh, this weekend when we get out there in Arkansas. Looking forward to the matchup, though. So I'll take any questions you guys have. Thanks, Coach. We'll start with some que- a question from Bob Holt and then Thomas Murphy. Uh, hey, Kehlani. Uh, I'm with the Arkansas Democrat Gazette. How, how you doing? Doing great. Uh, I, I was wanting to ask you about Cade, you know, your new quarterback. What made you decide to target him in the portal? How's he fit in and played? And then what, what, what are you looking for maybe this week and moving forward? Yeah, he's done, done a great job. I mean, when we when we looked into the portal, our quarterback we was hope, we were hoping that would come back, but he he decided to enter the draft and got drafted. And um, we knew that we need a we had a really good group of quarterbacks that are here. We just wanted to look into the portal and see if there's any uh, anyone that could bring some veteran leadership. And he was the right guy. And so and he fit our program, our culture um, perfectly. And then he happened to be a really good player. So that that's that's been. Really good for us. I love coaching him and, and having him on on this team, and he's a great leader for us. So it's been it's been an honor for me to have him here. I just wish I had him, uh, you know, even longer. But we'll make the most of, of what we got the time that we have left with him. Go ahead, Thomas. Yeah, hey, coach Tom Murphy, also with the Arkansas Democrat Gazette. How do you see uh, Arkansas differently offensively this year with a new coordinator? Um, and they've run for like 230 yards the last couple of seasons, but this year their run game hasn't gotten off to a start. What, what have you seen different about the way they're conducting their offense this year? Well, I still see the same talent, the same physical O line, the presence of the line scrimmage, uh, very capable runners. Um, I mean, you know, if you look at the first couple games, they're physical, they run, they can make big plays. Um, but you, you combine that with a quarterback that can actually run himself. Which is always deadly, and then he has a strong arm. He has next level arm, and and uh, you put that with with big um, big receivers, that's always going to be a problem. But looking in terms of their scheme, they can do a lot of different things. But I think maybe the uh, the game of football, there's not as many plays as there has been. I mean, I, I'm looking at it; the game goes pretty quickly, and so um, it's about being efficient with the plays that you have. And so I, I think every offense is probably going to be down a little bit with with not as many possessions and um, especially at the beginning of the year when people are still trying to figure out the timing and there may be some teams that are trying to slow the clock, the clock down on purpose and so uh, I, I'm not really worried about 
you know, the amount of plays. I'm just looking at how efficient they are and what they do play to play. And what I see is a really talented team. So, and that's offensively, defensively, and special teams. So it's going to be a, uh, you know, we have to be we have to be on top of our best games to to compete in this one. And I feel really good about the preparation that we've had so far. And I feel good about the matchup. Okay, now we'll have a question from Jared Lloyd and then Mitch Harper. Tony, we talked about this after the game Saturday, but I'm curious what your analysis is of the offensive line and what needs to improve going into this week. Yeah, we're going to be fine. I mean, I have a lot of confidence in in our our, our players and our coaches. And um, you know, when you when you evaluate everything, I think the job is to is to try to fix all the problems. But uh, that's the game of football. Problems happen. But I feel really good about where we're at right now as a team. Um, looking at the at the, at the 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 film uh, Southern Utah had had a, their mindset that they weren't going to run the allow us to run the ball as much as we wanted to and so they crowded the box and that's why the, that's why the, the the passing game was a lot more effective for us so I'm glad that we I talked about asking for balance and we got the balance if they want to do one thing and take it away then we got we got an opportunity to do something else and I thought that that was a great game plan. Um, you know, there's obviously uh, some miscues that that I think we can fix, but it doesn't always come down to the, just the old line. Alani, how much consideration are you and Roderick putting into changing offensive personnel this week in an effort to create more success on the ground this week and in, in, in the weeks to come? Yeah, I think that all goes. You know, there's there's a lot of things that you can do to to change it up. But again, um, if a team wants to take away something. Than they can defensively. We'll just have to make them pay the other ways, and that's what Southern Utah was planning to do: was take away the run game. They put their safeties in the box, unaccounted for as, as far as the blocking seam goes. And so, guys that were supposed to be playing deep or playing and making making hits at the line of scrimmage, you have to make them pay. And that, that's we we, the, we we can we can react on what they're giving us and what we're seeing, or we can just keep banging our head against the wall and, and forcing it. But Eventually, you know, when, when it was time to make some plays, uh, we found ways to get the points on the board. We got 41 points on the board, and, and that's what we're looking for. So I'm, I'm pleased with that. I don't think the, the game was ever in question when, when, when we were getting things rolling. And so it was a good opportunity for us to put some young guys in the game as well and, and try to get some things corrected. But uh, every time after the game, that's my job is to look at, okay, what can we do differently? When I'm looking at the numbers, it tells a different story than what I'm seeing on film. I know we have very capable players and we have very capable coaches. Feel really good about what we're doing, but we're two and zero. Feeling good about everything. We'll build on the momentum and the and the foundation that we set. And we've seen our guys respond better. And we've had games where we can run the ball better than we throw, and games where it's really balanced. All I care about is putting points on the board, and that's what we're going to focus on. All right. Next up, we've got Jake Hatch, then Darnell Dixon. Yeah, Kalani, in, in terms of the passing game on Saturday, do you feel like that's what you want it to be week in and week out, or would you still see more improvement from the passing game? Yeah, we can see improvement in, in every area. I mean, that's that's in all three phases. So if you talk about the passing game completely, it's just, we had one interception, and it came off of a, 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 um, a mistake on pass protection. So they got a hit on the quarterback and it turned into a, an interception. If you go and watch that play, it could have been it could have been a big play the other way, you know, going possibly for a touchdown. So uh, obviously give our quarterback a little bit more time and, and he can make that throw. Um, and that's that's the game of football. You know, there's there's uh, things that you want to do better. We can always improve in all, a lot of different areas. Passing game, uh, whether it's the routes or catching the ball, it wasn't like everything was perfect either. We had uh, a couple um, mistakes in, in, the, in the routes and, and even a drop ball. So uh, I like the effort. I like the energy from our guys. We'll build off of that. The stuff that we can fix are very fixable things, and then that could be fixed by today. Well, as an independent, your programs traveled all over the country. Now you're a Big 12 team. You're headed out on your first road trip. What conversations have you had maybe with your sports scientists and, and what kind of preparation do you think it'll take to adjust to this new travel? Well, they took into account even the travel and the, uh, the, the, the intensity of our practices week to week. And so obviously last week wasn't the same type of practices that we had the first week. Um, and so we, we, we do things. It's all connected, what we do in the weight room, what we do with conditioning, and what we do in practice. And so, um, you know, it's, it's – uh, 
the, the science is there, and um, it's been working really well for us. So we'll keep working with that. They, in terms of travel, uh, you know, we, we've got great feedback on how to how to handle the travel, how to get out there, and when to do our workout, when to do our walkthrough. Uh, you know, our nutrition, all that stuff will play into it. We're looking forward to the kickoff and looking forward to the travel. It's just, you know, we've been at home. We love being at home, but but it's also great to go see our fans at, in other places and go, go out to Arkansas and see our fans out there as well. Okay, next up, Kevin Reynolds, and then we'll go Bob Holt. Hey, Kalani, I wanted to ask you about Cam and Garrett. Um, when he entered the transfer portal, was he somebody that you and Jay Hill kind of prioritized and talked about and – out of high school, do you think he was maybe under recruited uh, because of his size? Yeah, uh, definitely under recruited. You know, looking at, at what he's done in his career, and uh, when he went to the portal, of course. I mean, Jay, Jay knows him. He's he, he came here. He knows the, he knows our defense, and so that was always helpful. And and then he's a big playmaker. He's a he's a physical player. Developed. Uh, did a great job with his development in terms of learning the game and understanding the scheme and technique. And, um, you know, he's just a great technician, but I, I, I like the way that he takes the field. He's a, he's a true true professional. So, um, yeah, just really happy he's on our team and, and a great teammate to our, our players, and, and uh, he, he helps drive the culture. Uh, yeah, Kehlani, uh, Bob Wolf, Arkansas Democrat Gazette again. You, you've got an Arkansas player or a player from Arkansas, I guess I should say, on your roster with, with, with Caden Hawes. I know he played against the Hogs last year. Um, how, how's he been playing for you? Um, what would you say about his career, and how, how big a deal do you think it is for him to not just play Arkansas but, but play in his home state? Yeah, he's excited about going home. We, we've talked about this before, and, you know, he, he knows a lot of guys on the roster, so he's excited about being – being out that way, and, and uh, we're we're happy for him. I think he'll get a, a lot of tickets, you know, for his family and friends. But um, yeah, he's looking forward to this matchup. I, I know that um, just the connection that he has to the state of Arkansas, he, he's really fired up for it. He's been playing really well for us, and uh, he's, he's looking really nice. He had to battle some injuries, but he's looking really, really good right now. And, and I like the way that he's being physical at the line of scrimmage. It'll be a great matchup against the Arkansas o line. Thanks. Awesome. We've got a few more questions from Jared, Jake, and then Mitch. Go ahead, Jared. On a third down, uh, brought some pressure on some third and longs. They were able to pick it up and then get the conversions. What do you look at at that? You know, those are obviously big plays when you can get off the field. How do you look at that and evaluate it? Yeah, there's some things that we could fix. I mean, that I just like the uh, the aggressiveness of it. And, you know, the... the um, and then that probably more in the second half was a, was more of an issue. Uh, I thought I thought we got some some great reps for our younger guys on defense. Uh, they gave up a touchdown, you know, but came out and, and, and were, were able to get a stop the next series. So uh, we needed those reps so the, for the development of our players uh, and our younger guys. We we need those reps and, and needed those lessons. And uh, so sometimes the blitz were, was a little bit late, and, and times didn't, they didn't run the right blitz or. Uh, had right, wrong technique and coverage, but um, I think they're going to learn their lessons now from watching it. They 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 seem to learn it from the series, the first series to the next. You know, so the fact that they were able to learn it that quickly, uh, I imagine that the learning process will be even better when they see it on film and when Jay gets a hold of them. So that that's going to be as a, as a it's a great moment for them, but great for them to get on the field. But uh, I think it's going to be really valuable for us down the road. Well, Lonnie, you mentioned the fact that in your opening uh, statement that you, you're where you want to be as a football program. What are the next steps in your mind as you go to Arkansas this week? I think we don't need to make this any any more uh, complex than it is. We, we need to get ready for Arkansas, learn from the lessons and things that we can we can improve on from week one and week two. Um, try not to make the same mistakes again, right, because that happened a couple times. And so find ways that to, to, to put ourselves in a better position to have success. And a, a lot of those are, whether it's just a, a better focus from the players, uh, better attention to detail by the coaches, all those things. This is the program, we do everything together. So we're trying to find ways to improve, trying to find ways to get better as a, as a, as a group. Nobody, nobody should be feeling comfortable where they, they think they've arrived, and that includes me as a head coach. You know, but, but we are 2-0, and 
and we are sitting in a position now where we're going out to visit Arkansas and play this game, and I think the focus now needs to be on them. A really great team with tons of talent. Uh, We're going into an environment that that we haven't seen yet this year, meaning being on the road. Uh, How we handle the travel, how we handle the the attention to details, the focus, all that stuff will come down to our coaches and our players, everybody doing their job. And I'm looking forward to that. It's just going to be a lot of fun. Uh, along, you know, I, I just want the guys to, to let loose and just go have a lot of fun this weekend, and we'll see what the results show. But uh, I, I know how Sam Pittman is as a coach, and I know he'll have his guys ready, which for me uh, gives us a higher sense of urgency to, to make sure that we're ready by the time we get out there. With nearly 60 new players on the team this year, Kalani, and, and so many new coaches, is the re- is the revenge factor even a thing going into this week in the, the rematch against Arkansas? Man, revenge can only get you so far. You know what I mean? I think the key for us is to keep things more simple than that. It's, it's, it's like the there, – there's not – I mean, the fans probably weren't happy about that game, obviously, but for our players, it's like this is a whole separate deal. And I think that's the way we got to keep it. Just focus on what, what's what's the, ta- the task at hand, and that's making sure we do our part to be ready. Go out there, scout them out, and watch them on film. They're very impressive. And then when we get through this, make sure that we're committed to being physical uh, because I know they will be, and then let's see what happens. I, I, I really look forward to this game and trying to find ways that we can become a better program and a better team from this experience. I just want to make sure that we're ready, that we do all our, our, all our jobs as a head coach and our, and our assistants from Monday to Friday and even Saturday, Saturday day before kickoff. Okay, Coach, I just got two questions left for you. We'll go Jay Drew and then Bob Holt again. Kalani, through two games, what's your assessment of your pass rush and your defense's ability to get disruption? Um, I think we're getting disruption. We're getting turnovers. Um, we're getting hits on the quarterback. I think cor- I think offenses are being really smart by trying to get rid of the ball quickly so they can they can test our, 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 um, our coverage. But um, yeah, I think there's, there's there's different ways to disrupt it. If you're looking talking about sacks specifically, we could be better at that. I mean, that's 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 not um, you know sugarcoat it. But like, I like the stuff that we're doing. It the, the sacks will come. Uh, but I, I like interceptions more than sacks. As long as we're getting pressure on the quarterback, causing some errant throws, causing some indecision, I think that'll be really good for us. And uh, you know, we we just got to be patient with what we get and what we're able to force but again if we're going to if we're going to try to get to the quarterback we need to make sure everybody's lined up right that we're all doing our job our 111th and that even means the guys blitzing the quarterback get get to him and find ways to disrupt so uh, in terms of just that one category of sacks Jave, which I think you're asking it could be better and it will be yeah, Kaylani, obviously BYU's had a great program for a long time. This is your first year in the Big 12. Is there any different vibe for you guys being a Big 12 team? And then I'm also thinking this is probably your first time to ever coach your game or be in a game at Arkansas. Am I right about that? Yep, first time in Arkansas. Um, looking forward to it. You know, in, in, in terms of uh, Big 12, there's a lot of energy, a lot of excitement. And that, that, that's our, our fans and our players. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited about it too. I mean, we we, we know that we have uh, a conference to play for, uh, a conference to represent. We love the partners that we're involved with, the, the teams that we're, I've, I've met, all the head coaches and met quite a few of the players at Media Day. Just really impressed with everyone in the Big 12. So we're happy to be part of that conference and looking forward to representing this weekend against a, a, a quality uh, SEC team like Arkansas. So the matchup's going to be a lot of fun. It's, 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 this is going to be great because the players know uh, who Arkansas is. They know the brand. And, uh, man, we're excited to be out there and see our fans out there representing. Hey, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Awesome. We're good? Thanks, Coach. That's all the questions for today. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.